Well, hello again, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We are here at Devil's Peak Station. We spoke with Hiram at the end of the last episode. Does he have anything else he wants to say to us? Have some information for me? Um, you have any for me? Give my regards to Phineas. Okay. We're doing this quest, this main quest here, Radio Free Monarch, before you can transmit the data to Phineas. You'll need to give the tower a jump start. Uh, apparently that's outside. And uh, there's a door that goes outside right here. So uh, let's go outside and uh, see if we can find this tower that we're supposed to jumpstart and see what terrible, horrible things happen when we try to do that. Because, you know, after all, this is sort of an adventure game, right? And uh, adventure games are all about quests and, and fetching this and fetching that and killing this and killing that. And uh, I don't know, I, I guess, I, you know, like I said at the end of the last episode, I'm fully expecting this not to work. I'm fully expecting us to need to travel to this abandoned relay station, but I could be wrong. I don't know. The abandoned relay, relay station could just be a place on the map for us to explore, just like so many other places like, you know, abandoned safe house and Mansar Lair and Sunded Rock and stuff like that. All right, let's uh, press a button here and see what happens. Use. Ooh, neat. Oh, okay. Testing one, two. Oh, okay. Uh, don't make me come back in there. Yeah, don't make me come back in there, dude. There's no need to assert your dominance. I doubt I could make you do anything you don't wish to. Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior. Yeah, a little bit. I must admit, I have grown rather fond of you. As Neoka can attest, I do not form attachments with many. Do take care. All right, you too. Why, he told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. Anyone else hear a high-pitched whining? Did I get tinnitus Whoa. or is that just Hiram? The hell was that sound effect? Whoa, what's going on? Whoa, what's going on here? Yikes. Oh, my. Whoa. Okay, that was neat. Black hole. I did. Uh, <laughs> that big ball of fire. No, totally missed it. Whose ship was that? Looks like a UDL ship. Based on the gunnery attachments, I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers, but don't cite me on that. Oh, well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Sanjar. Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI, or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram. Hiram, are you there? Oh, Graham Bryant. Uh, this is the Iconoclast, dude. Uh, will someone explain what's going on? Oh, it's a reunion group hug, or I really should have just killed all of you. Jeez. What's going on? Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Mm, surely we could talk this over or you're acting like children. I don't know. Let's talk it over. Ah, I see you learned nothing while dealing with these <laughs> buffoons. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my boy damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, I certainly was not expecting that to happen. No, I was not. Uh, oh, we can use this again. Okay. Um... We got all kinds of new quests being added. We've leveled up. We're getting experience points. All kinds of things are happening here. Let's go to our quests page and see what's up. Uh, we have a new quest called Canid's Cradle. A UDL gunship has crashed on Monarch, and both MSI and the Iconoclasts desperately want it. 
Um, okay, interesting. See where the ship lands. They could still stick the landing. Zero of ten from the Monarch Judge. Okay. I, it's got a check mark by it. I I saw it landed over there. I don't know exactly where it landed. Uh, retrieve the gunship's targeting module. Reach the ship and take the targeting module from its central terminal. Well, holy cow, it's way over here. Oh man, we got to go back over here again. Great. Probably repopulated with mantis stuff. Right? Um, so we can uh, spend some skill points. Um, what's going on here? Oh, <laughs> I've got this uh, far-sighted um, flaw. <laughs> Makes this stuff uh, minus 10. I do not care. I never use melee, so who cares? Same thing with defense. I don't care about defense. I don't, I don't ever defend myself. I try to shoot things from far, far away. Uh, let's go ahead and just increase uh, both of these by 5. Why not? And uh, we will be on our way. Um, Radio Free Monarch Quest has also been updated. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so we jump started the tower. And now we need to speak with Phineas. You have relayed the promised data back to Phineas. Travel to his lab and speak with him to discuss the next steps. So uh, this quest here is taking us back to Phineas. Uh, this quest here, um, part of it would take us to Phineas. And um, I believe there is another one that wants us to go to Phineas as well. Um, uh, maybe not. I thought there was one. Anyway, uh, this one looks as good as any. So, uh, wait, actually, no, that one's, that one's way, way over there. Instead, um, we've got, um, this quest for Ash here, where we're supposed to uh, go to a nearby waterfall. The waterfall is over here. So I guess we'll go down the hill here and check out this abandoned relay station because we haven't done that yet. Um, yeah, I guess. We could just uh, fast travel right back. Oh, is this actually in the caverns? Hmm. Nope, this is in the caverns. I actually. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> she cracks me up her eyes. Uh, and then there's Ellie right there. Okay. Uh, so the abandoned relay station is kind of in this direction. Uh, we're just going to go over here and explore it. Um, just because. Because we haven't done that yet. Man, I feel like I'm walking really slow. Uh, I do not believe I am over encumbered. So I don't know why I'm walking so slow. I'm not even close to being over encumbered. So I don't know what's with the slow walking. I'm not crouched. Oh wow, I can't walk through those. <laughs> so many of these uh, flora I can walk through, but not that one. Okay, we're still going maybe up here? Maybe? Okay, I think this is where we want to go. What's going on down there? One of those sulfur pits down there. Well, I don't see any enemies right off. Let's go check this place out. It's a little quiet here, a little too quiet. Is that a door we could go in? Maybe this will unlock that door. Not seeing any enemies on my compass. Oh man, nothing in that bin. I'm gonna kinda walk around this place before we go rushing in. Oh, I can't go that way. Let's see what happens if we go this way. Hmm. Nope. Can't do that. Can we uh climb up here and then jump in, jump over the fence? No. 
All right, that's fine. I'll go back this way. It's no problem. No big deal. Uh, let's see. That direction will take us back up the hill towards the Mantasaur Lair, a place we have already been. And I hope those Mantasaur are still cleared out. I don't want to fight them again. People just leaving their bit cartridges around. Just leaving them behind. Look at that. Oh, this is a big one. Oh man, I gotta use two more of my mag picks to get in here. Heavy construction gear. Hmm. Iconoclast armor, the revolution has begun. So wear this heavy construction gear from Hephaestus and survive the worst dissident attacks. Okay, cool. Some sounds coming from this building, but I don't think we could get inside of it. Well, nothing for us back here. To jump over those rocks. Doesn't look like there's anything back here either. So it's good to make sure. Oh, okay. Now yeah, can't go that way. Let's go back this way. We'll run over here. Little plants here. Another building we can't get into. These impenetrable evicted bars can't get through those all right here's that terminal we saw requires oh my requires relay station access codes to unlock oh well then okay then i guess we're not getting in there because i don't have those codes uh let's take another look real quick another evicted building that we can't get into hmm. so i wonder where i'm going to get these codes They'll be in this bin right here. <laughs> Not really. Come on. That would be silly. Okay. Well, uh, so much for exploring this place right now. Um, we'll have to hope that we find the codes at some point. And that we could get in there. Because I certainly want to explore that place. Now I'm extra curious about it. Now that we need codes to get into it. Okay. Well, there you have it. There's this place. For now, we are going to walk over here and I guess we're going to go to this waterfall and uh, continue on with this uh, quest where we're looking for a memento for Ash, somebody we met quite a while ago in, um, what's that place called? Fallbrook. Forlorn Crossroads discovered. Well, I got a lot of experience points for discovering this. I don't see anybody over there. And I'm okay with that. Oh. Marauder over there. So that direction... We're looking back at the Fallbrook Crossroads, a place that I'm pretty sure we've already explored. So I guess it's just a case of, you know, enemies respawning in an area, even though we've already cleared it out. I do wonder about that. Ooh. Oh, a Manta Queen over there. Huh. Uh, I mean, it is, I guess it's possible we haven't walked here yet. Oh, do I want to fight this Manta Queen? I think I do. Oh gosh, look to my left. Got some manta pillars coming at us. 
like to take out this Manta Queen before it gets over here. And I did just that. Take out the Manta Pillar. Oh, hey, how's it going? Okay, you're dead. Good. She's been practicing that. Oh, gosh. These stupid swarm things, man. I hate these. Maybe overkill for the swarms. I don't know. Uh, let's shoot it with this weapon. I don't know. What's this thing do? Got him. Got him? You do got him. That was fun. Oh, I'm glad you guys had fun. Oh, I'm so happy when my companions have fun. That makes me so happy. I don't know what weapon this is. What is this thing? This is a uh, anti manta ray. Okay, well, I used it. It was interesting. It's not my sniper weapon, but I liked it. Um, I was going to say, you better have something on you, stupid carapace. Stupid carapace. Nobody wants a carapace. What do you got on you? A carapace. Well, um, those marauders over there certainly did not seem to care one iota. That there was gunfire going on over here. Oh my, what do we got over here? We've got, uh... Ooh, a Mega Manta Queen. Mega, Mega, Mega! Rider Thug here. Hmm. I'm not too afraid of the Mega Manta Queen. Uh, but I am curious to see if I could pull it back towards these Marauders and have the Marauders fight the Mega Manta Queen. I think that might be funny. If I could pull that off. Let's uh, let's F5 it in case I really, really botch things up. Okay. Um, yeah. Had a phone call I had to take right there. I don't even know if you'll notice that there was a little pause there. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, back in the game here. Ooh, here's another body over here. So, we saw marauders over here somewhere. Uh, they're pretty far away. I don't know if I could introduce these guys to each other. The Mega Manta Queen and the Hooligans. I, I think it would be hilarious if I could. So, I don't want my peeps rushing in. So I'm going to send my peeps uh, Headed back. Sure. over there. Just go stand over there. Just stand over there out of the way, alright? Uh, and then I'm going to try <laughs> to pull the Manta Queen towards me. And then I'm going to turn around and try to pull the uh, hooligans towards me. And uh, we'll see if we can't make introductions here. But, uh... Whew, for a minute there, I thought that those were people standing down there. I was like, what is going on down here? That would be really interesting to come up over a crest. Over a hill like that. And then just see, like, a bunch of people standing in there. I mean, look at that. Looks like a bunch of people standing down there. Uh, I actually got a little scared and excited there for a moment. It's like, what's going on here? Nothing. Nothing's going on. Absolutely nothing. All right, Manta Queen. I'm going to shoot you in a place. Okay. Now, we're going to go this way. Come here, you guys. Come over here. Okay. All right. Let's see. Can this... Will this work? Okay. Oh, who... Ellie, what are you doing? Go over there! Gosh! Jeez! Don't fight me, fight the Manta Queen. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, Manta Queen, come over here and fight those guys! <laughs> Boy, somebody hit me hard. Oh, they're all fighting me instead of the Manta- What's the Manta Queen? Manta Queen, where'd you go? Oh, come on now. Is this not working? I tell you what, those freaking Marauders hit hard. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> you guys to fight each other. Oh, hi. Come here. No, no, no. Over here. Dude. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here, Mantisaur drone. Oh, my gosh. My peeps are really annoying the crap out of me. Well, 
This does not appear to be working. Uh, instead, the Marauders are fighting uh, my peeps because they're running around here in the way. Here comes uh, a swarm. Dude. Dude, fight the swarm. Dude. Dude, dude. Swarms. Dude. And he's dead. Thanks a lot, teammates. Thanks for ruining my fun. <laughs> Did they kill all the other Marauders? Hey, screw you, Swarm. Come back here. <laughs> okay, Swarm's like, yeah, whatever, dude. What happened? Did they... Where were the Marauders? I'm all turned around now. Marauders were over here. Weren't they? Did they... Where's the Marauders? I guess I killed them. Stupid teammates killing things. Yeah, they survived. That's worth something, right? Uh, there's some enemies over there. Okay, there's a Marauder goon. Well, I guess my <laughs> my plan is not as successful when dog on it. Um, I don't know if these rocks get in the way, um, or what. But uh, I was really. And he's got his health all the way back now. So, oh well, so much for that. Uh, let's clear out these marauders so that when I do take on these mantas, I don't have to worry about these guys. Look at this guy. Finish him off, Ellie, will you? Oh, 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 cool. Oh, that was neat. <laughs> that was cool. Give me your stuff. I don't care if you've burned to ashes. I want your stuff. Here's uh, here's some stuff. And uh, where's the guy that I killed? I don't know, man. I always lose track of them. And then, you know, you, some of them turn into ash, and that's hard to see. Yeah, I'm. I'm totally turned around now. I don't know where this guy was. I lost track of him. Oh well. But there's bins here to loot. And I do like to loot. Oh yes. <laughs> I don't know where this guy went, man. I thought he was standing... <clears throat> Excuse me. Right here. <laughs> and indeed he was standing right there. All right, well, we got some mega goodness to take care of. And I, I, I don't have to fight this. I could just walk past it, but we get some experience points for killing them. And maybe they'll have some goodies on them. I don't know. Um, there's a Raptor's over there too, right? Is that what I saw walking around? Yeah. Raptor's on Stalker. I'm not sure why these guys aren't fighting each other. Let's see, what do I want to take out? Do I want to try to take out the Manta Queen first? Do I want to try to take out his posse first? I could do the real wussy thing, which is this. Focus on the drone. Okay, the drone is dead. Would you guys come back here? Gosh! Okay, the Manta, Manta, the Manta pillar is dead. And now, this is really lame, I know. Now I run away, right? I run away. Those two things that I killed, they're not going to come back to life, right? So, Manta Queen is like, oh, well, you killed my, you killed my friends, you killed my family, uh, but I'm going to let you go. And so the Manta Queen walks back out into the water. Uh, now, uh, with uh, fewer reinforcements, um, so it, it, it's, it's gaming the game. Um, which is a little lame, <laughs> but uh, you do things to uh, stay alive, man, and that's one of the things you do to stay alive. You game the game. If the game's gonna let you do it, you gotta do it. Oh, the Manta Swarm's there. Did I kill it from here? I think I just killed a Manta Swarm, did I? The drop on us. Problem is, I do believe that he'll just make more. All right, let's see how this goes. 
I want to kill the swarm. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 stop shooting, stop shooting. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it, no, 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 don't shoot, don't shoot. Interesting. Okay, fine, shoot it. Boy, we are actually doing quite a bit of damage to this thing. Let's use the Antimanta. Okay, that worked pretty well. Are there any swarms? No swarms? Oh, I'm not disappointed. Don't get me wrong. Can, take a hint. can you? Can you take a hint? I don't think you can. I don't think you can take a direct order. <laughs> uh, let's repair this thing. Cool. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, you get a lot of stuff for killing those things, man. I'd say it's worth it. As far as the other ones that I killed, are their bodies still out here? I don't know. Oh, look at that. This was a swarm. Eh, not seeing the other ones. Oh well, it's no big deal. They don't have anything good on them anyway. Oh, well, here's a uh, raptodon. Oh, here's a body of a resident. Oh, what were you doing out here? We trying to pick into this? Hmm, that's too bad. Not a good place to be. So, we had seen a, a Raptodon walking around over there. There could be maybe bodies over there, something interesting to loot. So let's go ahead and take him out. Oh, there's still another one over here. Couple of them. He's a coming. <laughs> I love the physics. That guy's underwater. <laughs> Sounds really painful the way she screams. <sighs> okay. Nothing there. Get some meat. So yeah, I don't think we've walked over here. You know, sometimes you find something interesting. You might we might find a body with something interesting on it. There's a body. Uh, it's another resident. What are you guys doing walking around out here? I should know better than that. Oh, here is a marauder thug. His arm chewed off. This is a uh, Fallbrook here, right? Okay. You, you got to explore it, man. You got to. You know that. Boy, we are really, really far away from that waterfall now. Holy cow. Well, let's um see if we can't walk back on this side of the river. They have been over here before. What's this? Aw, oh, man. I thought I found a cool little cave to go in and explore, but no. It was nothing. I love the sound of the water. Thought I saw something up there. I did not. Not getting through there. You may have noticed another edit right there. Uh, that's because I had to stop playing suddenly and resume uh, later in the night. Uh, that's one of the great things about this game and um, most non 
you know, multiplayer games, you can you can just stop playing whenever, man. Stop playing, save the game, and uh, then resume later. That's uh, that's awesome. Over here we got looks like a Marauder Camp. Uh, we are in, going in this direction, and this is probably where we're heading. Uh, whoops, um, back to, or not back to, in our quest for this little memento here for Ash. Uh, maybe this is the outpost that's um, behind a uh, waterfall here. Maybe this is it. I don't know. Maybe this is just on the way towards it. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, this is not it. What we're looking for is actually further that way where there's a Mantisar soldier. Um, so I, I don't know. Um, I'm not too worried about these, um, marauders. So I'm just going to go ahead and shoot them, but I'm thinking of changing my tactics with my companions. Um, sometimes they go rushing in when I don't want them to. A lot of times they go rushing in when I don't want them to. So he's dead. Okay. They heard that, but they don't know what to do about it. Really? Okay, here we go. All right, get to work, guys. Did I get him? I think I got him. Oh, he's right in front of me. <laughs> okay. So I used my X key to tell my peeps to fight that one specific guy, and he is now dead. And uh, there's at least one more over there. He's kind of hiding, maybe. I'm not sure. He's looking out all right. Oh, they are going to run right on down there, which I would really prefer they didn't do. Um, but hey, whatever. I'm not worried about Marauders at all. Oh, nice. I am a star. <laughs> okay, I hadn't heard her say that before. Is uh, Ellie down there? She is. Okay, cool. We'll just send them ahead. That well, was fun. well, I'm glad you had fun, Ellie. All right, well, we took out those marauders. They were really no no problem at all. And I, I knew they wouldn't be. I ain't afraid of no stinking marauders. Ooh, here's a terror ray. Pick up some stuff from this guy here. See if there's anything interesting up here. So, I wonder what this was is this part of a ship that crashed is that what this is i'm not sure what this is it's interesting yeah a little camp going here Wow, one, two, three, four, five beds. Did I take out five marauders? We may have. Here's one here. Actually, I don't think we did take out five of them. Maybe five total enemies if you include the canids. I got some bins here. Some goodies in them. One of them's locked over here. Ninety-five. Good lord. Durable guards. Um, I, I mean, I am a long freaking way from ninety-five. This is another place that I mean, I'm never going to remember to come back here and loot that. Good grief. Ninety-five. Wow. Oh well. Uh, there is, um, some, um, plants. <laughs> I thought that was a mantasaur or manta something. Okay, so, man, I just, I just hate that they go running in there. I wish they would stay back, my companions, that is. Um, Ellie, you know, we've got her... Uh, I've got her at far. I've got her to use a ranged weapon. I do have her as aggressive, you know, but that just tells her to engage and attack when I attack. That's it, you know. Defensive once told to attack a target, the companion continues to fight until combat is over. 
passive only attacks targets the companion has been explicitly told to. I mean, I don't know. Um, and then you can only switch between ranged, uh, ranged, mixed, or melee. I want him to stay on ranged because I want him to stay away. I don't want him rushing in there. But um, if I put him on passive, then I have to ex explicitly tell them what to fight. And I don't know if I want that, you know, because then I have to micromanage them. But I mean, I've kind of tr been trying to do that anyway. But some of these fights get pretty hectic, especially when you're fighting these mantis from far, far away. Um, but there's a soldier over there. And I think there's some other stuff going on, too. So um, if I have them attack that... Oh, gosh, they didn't attack it. Why not? Why didn't they attack it? Let me kneel down here. Huh. They're refusing to attack that, so I guess there's like a range that I need to be within to get them to attack it. I'm on it. Okay, so there they go. They're going to go attack that thing. Um, and they're shooting it from here. I'm going to fight this soldier. Uh, okay, this, this thing is on us quick. A lot quicker than I thought it would. Look out, Ellie. She's shooting you, man. Okay, so he's dead. Uh, here comes one right here. Let's switch to uh, this weapon here, the uh, Antimanta. Okay, that one's dead. And now attack this one. Okay, everybody's still alive. I don't see any, any enemies around. Uh, there were just three of these guys, and they weren't the big ones. They get a lot bigger than that. Okay. So, did that work? I don't know. Did that work any better than doing what I'd been doing? Just attacking and then having them attack automatically? I don't know. Because once they, once that one was killed that they were fighting, uh, they stood there until I told them to fight something else. And even that split second could be a problem. So, I don't know what to do, really. Uh, we actually walked around down there before. We walked over there before and looted those bins. So we've been down there already. It's good to know. As cool as this planet is, um, I guess I'm looking forward to exploring a different planet. Okay, well this is where... Okay, Little Memento is right here. Look at this, man. Look at all these marauders here dead. Uh, I don't know what killed them. Oh, here's an Iconoclast, so it must have been a battle between a bunch of different factions here. Here's an MSI soldier. Maybe uh, they just were simply killed by uh, the Mantis that were here. And um, I don't know. Oh, here's a Sublight Thug. I mean, th every faction's here. The whole gang's here. Leaving a sprat. Ordnance control armor. A, oh, let's examine the skull, I guess. <laughs> it looks interesting, her sitting next to that body. Let's examine the skull. Skeletal remains. The remnants of these bones show the telltale signs of a mantosaur attack. Powerful jaws have crushed the skulls, while weathering on some of the fragments suggests passage through some beast's digestive tract. Amidst the dirt, you find a small lockbox that matches the description given by Ash. So, uh, I think he may have mentioned some friends or some co-workers or whatever. Um, and it sounds like they're all dead. So, we have found the mercenaries, or what's left of them anyway. And uh, we now are supposed to return to Ash. And I guess he's way back over there in uh, Fallbrook. If we look at the quest... Uh, it says, you found a locked box of mementos from Ash's old mercenary unit. You found a ledger that seems to indicate that Ash was never a part of the mercenary squad using this outpost. Did I find that ledger? I mean, I don't know. This game makes some stretches, it feels like. Um, I don't know. But anyway, uh, we are supposed to go back to Ash, and he is 
um, way over here in Amber Heights, not Fallbrook. Uh, but we're not there, so we'll get there when we get there. In the meantime, uh, I believe, isn't there something that takes us here? Let's go ahead and go back to our journal and uh, look at our quest. This one, uh, this one's taking us to Phineas. This one is also, well, this one's in several places. Huh, apparently there's something here in Fallbrook that I missed. Hmm. Really? Um, Duncan in Fallbrook sold you a data pad used by one of the team that scouted the abandoned lab in Cascadia. The unfortunate contractor didn't survive, but one of his entries mentioned going back for the weapon. Okay. But that's in, um, that's over here in Cascadia. Or maybe this is telling me uh, this is the for, the for the off world one. This is where my ship is. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Slaughterhouse Clive. That one is in a, a factory right here. Okay, so this is the one that I want to do. Uh, this one, in case you've forgotten, which I have. With the scarcity of salt tuna alternatives on Monarch, Clive Lumberg has been making a killing by operating the planet's last remaining Borst factory. Sublight wants to take the self-proclaimed Borst King of Monarchs profits for themselves and have hired you to get rid of him. I do not like this. I do not want to do this, but it's a quest. We're supposed to deal with Clive. We're supposed to make our way to Clive Lumberg's office in the CNP factory and get him out of Sublight's way. Alternatively, search the factory for a way to sabotage Clive's operations. Catherine suggests investigating the Sisty Pig food supply the canning machine, or the financial records. So, yeah, I, I really don't want to do this for Sublight. I mean, what, they're just a bunch of thugs that come in here and they're like, oh, we want the Borst factory. We're going to take it. Well, screw you. But it's a quest. And I do like to do as many quests as possible. So uh, we're going to at least go over there and check the place out. Whether I follow through on it is another story. But we'll see what happens. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I feel like I just fell through the earth there a little bit. What's up with this guy? It's just a Canid Howler and a Canid Feral over there and a Canid Alpha. Just some dumb old Canids over there. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, geez. So I feel like this is a case <laughs> where I want my peeps to stay back. I don't want them rushing in there. I'm going to be able to take care of these guys without any problem, really. Doing a lot of damage to him, I'll tell you that. Listen to the sound that guy's making. That's a howler, all right. Oh, he's not dead. Didn't even get our hands dirty. Yeah, didn't even get your hands dirty. You're welcome. Okay. It's one of those signs over there. Let's just um, plop down into here. Ouch. I'll be all right. I don't know how far we can go this way. Let's go check it out. Hopefully it won't kill us to walk over here. My uh, compass isn't showing any enemies. Ooh, look at this. This is interesting. C&P factory sewer entrance discovered. Okay. Oh, and looky here. Here's some uh, goodies. We can get into this one. Got to use five of my mag picks, though. Lots of stuff. People thought they could hide things behind this waterfall. How naive. It's pretty cool looking. <laughs> pretty cool. Okay, so we found an entrance, a sewer entr entrance into this place. We could go in that way if we wanted to. Um... Do I want to go in this way? Eh, why not? We're here. Let's go in this way. Okay, interesting sounds. If we go around, there's probably going to be some resistance up there. So, I don't know. Let's just go in this way and see, see what it looks like. See what we're up against here. Uh... 
Okay. Well, there's, it's showing as enemies, so I guess just by simply walking around in here, we are an enemy. And thereby they are enemies. Hmm. Bunch of pigs. Are the pigs enemies? Well, restricted area requires ID, C and P Borst factory. Okay, so that's the problem. That's why we're enemies because we uh, we do not belong here. Hey, look at this thing. Um, so these are disgusting. Oh gosh, I was actually going to use a melee weapon on that thing because I didn't make any noise. Funny uh, how I'm like, oh, I never use melee weapons. Well, I don't, but there, there is um, there is reason to use them. How's it going? Bread warm blood, unclotted bread worm blood. I said warm, didn't I? The blood is thick and viscous, and you have absolutely no use for it whatsoever. <laughs> we'll see about that. Somebody might buy it from us. So, I mean, I guess I could kill these pigs if I wanted to. Let's see what happens if we kill a pig. Let's do a save first. This, this may be a big mistake. Look how disgusting these things are, these cysty pigs. How gross is that? It's dead. Cysty pig hoof. The hoof of an adult cysty pig. These hooves are usually ground up and fed to cysty pigs and woolly cows to supplement their diet. They are rich in protein and hoofy goodness. Okay, well I could kill all these pigs and just help myself. Or I could just leave them alone. So, hmm. That's a corporate guard. So, I really don't think I want to come in here shooting people. You know, I... I mean, these people are just in here doing their jobs. I don't want to go in here killing people. You know? Um, I have that um, device that makes me blend in, but I need an ID thing first. And um, I'm pretty sure that I do not have... Yeah, here's a sublight ID cartridge. That's certainly not going to help me here. I mean... These people aren't sublight. Here is another sublight. Sublight, sublight, sublight. Mardet. That's for the groundbreaker. Captain's identification. Okay, that registers us as the captain on the of the unreliable. So we do not have a cartridge which will allow us to impersonate one of these corporate guards and it sure seems like there's a lot of them corporate recruit over there so I I really there unfortunately I don't think that in this game oh man there's something I want to look at up there there's any way to um, take people out peacefully I don't think I don't think I could put people to sleep you know like I did in Dishonored I don't think that's an option shoot man and then also in this game, I don't believe that um, I can like throw something to distract people. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to get these people to move uh, so that I can go and look at that. That is one of those things you examine. It's like a data pad. And I want to look at it. And then of course there's also a mag pick there that I want. And then there's a couple bins and lockers over here. I want them too. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. He saw me. No, no, no. So my team um, is not going to fight because I've told them not to fight. Uh, so I don't want them shooting anyone. Come on, guys. We're going to go. We're going to leave here. Come on, you guys. Let's go. Okay, here they come. Here's me. Yoka. Oh, gosh. They're actually shooting. Come on, Ellie. Get down here. Actually, we'll just do this. Ellie will magically appear with us outside. She'll be fine. So, yeah, um, I don't want to go in there running and gunning. I mean, these people haven't done anything wrong, I don't think. They're just people. They're just doing their jobs. They haven't done anything to me. The problem is, is that now am I hostile towards them just simply because of what just happened? I don't know. Ah, 
factory offers the loveliest aromas. Like if you cook forest over a sulfur pit. Okay, sounds delicious. So, uh, yeah, corporate commander. See, he's not an enemy. He's not my enemy. He hasn't done anything to me. What's that building right there? I guess I'm looking back at the abandoned safe house. That's probably what I'm looking at there. Well, uh, this is a good place to end this episode. So I'm going to end this episode here. And uh, when we come back next time, uh, we will walk in that general direction. And um, we'll see what happens when we talk to these people. They're probably actually not going to let us in. We're probably not going to be able to get in. As a matter of fact, it's restricted right there. So <laughs> I'm not really sure what our options are. Uh, going in through that sewer down there may be our best option. And I just blew it by getting notif noticed. So I, maybe I'll just need to be more sneaky. I don't know. Come back next time and find out. Thanks for joining me on this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did watch, let me know. Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.